Hey guys, hope you're all well. Hope we're all doing good. And in today's video, I think I talked about doing this uh, last week, is my favourite colognes, aftershaves, what I use. So I've, I've narrowed it down to a top three. I have my top three powerhouses. I've got loads still that, um, still kind of collect dust, but you know, probably still good, good, uh, good smelling colognes and that. But generally, I have three powerhouses that I use. And, um, Three powerhouses that I use at the minute, and I have to say these are my favourite ones. So first we have a Hugo Boss. I don't know the specific name, but this is a very nice, like fruity smell, and I've had lots of compliments uh, wearing this, as you can see half the bottle. So it has definitely got some use, and it's a very like nice. Fruity smell, like uh, you know, like a, a passion fruit, and um, yeah, it's just really like sets the mood, and it's good. I mean, um, I'd say it's not too overpowering, but just enough so like you know within like a kind of a meter kind of distance, you can smell it on somebody. But yeah, it's definitely got me a lot of compliments. I recommend this Hugo Boss. I don't know the specific name of it. But it's a, a really nice one. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah, it just smells like fruity. It's good. And then next, um, we have this is a recent one, I actually did this the other day. It's Calvin Klein Into You for him. And this is one I got bought for Christmas. Really digging this one at the minute. It's really nice. Um, I've actually got, what I do is I carry around these little uh, miniature travel sprays. So whether you're out and about on the go, you just freshen up, psh, psh, do it yourself, and uh, it's really handy. Uh, this one is, this is quite strong, very like strong uh, masculine kind of s s smell. Uh, but it's... Yeah, really, it's very strong. It might be too strong for some people. Um, but this is definitely something you probably want to use if you're going out to maybe like a business meeting or something. And I I, uh, I recommend this. It's a, definitely a winner. In my eyes, I'm, I'm liking it. And like I say, I, I carry around a little portable spray. All you do is you kind of get, you inject it, uh, you can get them off Amazon, but they're really good if you're traveling a lot instead of taking the full bottle because some, as you know, when you go traveling, you can only take over 100 mils. Well, that solves that problem for you. And, um, yeah, so the next one I have is, this is a very popular one. And um, I think it does live up to its hype, but it's a lot of money. For sure, compared to, like, these sprays, is like a 300-pound bottle. Uh, Aventus Creed, and um, yeah, just before I get this as a one-off, but this is, um, yeah, this is very strong. It actually, it probably combines two of these, like, together, really, so it has, like, the fruitiness of this, and that strong masculine kind of smell of that one, all in one. And and this is this is a good this is definitely you know a, a good winner. Um, Aventus Creed. If anyone knows, they know it's a very popular one. In fact, to, had the uh, decorator man come round once, and he had the cheek to say that this was fake, because you know. It's kind of a high-end uh, product, but um, if you can get it, you can get a smaller bottle of this. You can get the 50 mil, this is the 100 mil one. And, uh, you know, if you want to treat yourself once in a while, I definitely recommend give it a try. Apparently, the potency isn't as good as what it was a few years ago, so I've been told from the reviews online. But, 
I'd definitely uh, give it give it a try or get a sample bottle if you go to like an airport or a, like a duty free kind of aftershave shop. But I have one more bonus one: Pacaraban Invictus. This is a very fruity. Very. This is even more fruity than that one actually. Um, but this one actually, I remember it uh, like it was yesterday. Uh, went to the uh, nightclub bathroom at the time. This was like three, four years ago. And, uh, you know, one of those toilet attendee guys um, um, had all these sprays set up. And I picked this one because it was like a different, this is a weird looking, I thought, you know, like a spaceship kind of bottle. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll go for that one. And I thought, oh, that smells good, that. It smells good, that man. Mm. And then literally, about two minutes later, I walked out of the bathroom and surrounded by people and that and, and socialising one of the girls there she complimented me on this, this aftershave I'll never forget it I thought right I'm getting myself one of these but I think this, one, this is one of the ones where you definitely wait for going out socialising going on dates or you'd probably wait it's more like a summer kind of one because it's really fruity uh, even more fruity than that one so that one's just, just right but the, that one's really strong so but but it, but it's nice by all means. So Invictus Pacaraban, the bonus one. Um, but if um, if I had to go for one, um, I'd I'd probably you know go go for them too at the minute. Yeah, good ones. You don't have to get those. I mean, I've had good experience with those other other daft trains smelling good, you know. But definitely um, Hugo Boss is Andy. Calvin Klein, Into You are probably my favourite ones. But anyway, guys, we'll leave it there. Hope you all have a great day. And uh, yeah, smell good, look good, feel good. I'll see you tomorrow.